Hi everyone! Welcome back to another cookbang! Today I am going to show you guys how to make tubu jorim. Tubu jorim is made with tofu. Tofu is a main ingredient and for today's uh, recipe you want to get the firm tofu. It is a bit spicy but very just a little bit. Um, I'm sure everyone's gonna be okay. <laughs> Let's begin! Let's start with medium heat. Um, only preparation that you want to do for tofu is that you want to kind of pat it with a paper towel to get rid of the excess water, uh, extra water, so that it doesn't go crazy in the pot because we are going to use some olive oil. You could use vegetable oil, vegetable oil if you want, um, but I don't have any. <laughs> so you will need a lot actually, that much. little more than normal i guess normal stir fry that's why you really have to be thorough when you're patting your tofu so that it doesn't go crazy once you put it in here start putting them in Perfect. You want this to be kind of like really nice golden crispy looking. It tastes a little bit so while we're waiting for that we're gonna prepare other dishes. So we just want a clear bowl to mix all the sauces. Okay. So you need some pepper. Um, this, you want to cut pretty thin. Like this sound is so soothing for me. Very like comforting. I think it's because you know growing up, my mom, uh, my mom w used to work here and there. She wasn't like you know, either she was working full time or she wasn't working at all. So when those times when she wasn't working, um, this when I was in high school, she would you know cook us this in the morning or anything, you know, any Korean food and waking up to the sound, the smell it's very something like nostalgic kind of like at that moment, like you didn't know what you had until like, oh I remember when my mom used to cook this for me in the morning oh shoot okay, I want to cut a little bit more of this We got that there. We're going to add about three spoonful of soy sauce in here. It's garlic. I want to add like maybe a spoonful. I think that's spoonful. And then what is this? Awesome sesame oil. This. So this sesame oil I got it from Mariano's, and it smells so good. So I used to use this Korean brand. Um, use it for a long, long time, but I switched over just because you know I was at Mariano's and I didn't want to go to H Mart just to get sesame oil. So I got this, and it smells so good. And I think it's just, this is Chinese brand. I don't remember. Um, and now we have about three spoonful of pepper flakes, and then I'm going to add some water. I want to add just a little bit more because I'm going to add all this sauce in here and let it kind of simmer for a long time so the water is going to evaporate anyway. So. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That is fine.
I'm going to actually just kind of get the oil, extra oil out. So lower the heat a little bit and we want to bring all the tofu into the middle all together and we're going to add all the sauce. You could add like green onions or like regular onions, but I don't have any of those. <laughs> That's why I'm skipping it. Uh, but if you guys do, you guys could definitely could top it off as a garnish. So just kind of... Mm, it smells so good. Very familiar smell to me. So I feel like I did something right. I'm going to let it simmer a little longer um, because it is still a little, little bland but once it evaporates a little, it's going to be perfectly seasoned if not, I'll top it off with salt or something Oh, another thing that you could do with the tofu while you're prepping you could, little, you could season it a little with a little bit of salt and pepper but skip it <laughs> So if you want, you could flip it, but I don't think that's necessary. It's seasoning it pretty well. I'm just checking the bottom of it. And yeah, it's seasoning pretty well. Just maybe lift it a little so all the sauce can go underneath the tofu. But... Mm, oh, so cha. So salty. Mmm! Mmm! I, I feel like if I let it sit here longer, it might taste better, but... Like, a, I feel like a day old of this is better. Just because it was like, I don't know, I think it would be better. But, I'm hungry now and we are ready to eat. So I'm going to get two of these guys. For today's drink, I have lime flavor, sparkling water. Mmm. <sighs> Not too same spoon. Mmm. Mmm. So excited. Mmm. My goodness. Oh, and thanks for the um, advice, guys. I start. I put the leftover cream in a Ziploc bag. Thank you. This is a little too salty for me, but that's why side dishes are because you eat it with rice, something that's really bland. So their side dishes have to be a little more, a little bit more on the saltier side. Mm. And I think because it's so salty, you end up eating so much rice. <laughs> Mm. 
So weird, huh? My mom used to make this for me all the time, but I complained about the panchan that she always made for us. I'm like, where's the meat? Where's the sausage? Where's my chicken? You know, we always wanted some meat, but no. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm like, you made meat? You know, I don't eat meat. I'm no, just kidding. I don't sound like that, but I just tell her like. When I told my mom that, hey, I'm gonna try not to eat any meat, like land meat anymore, like I'm gonna avoid chicken, pork, and beef, um, I, I thought knowing my parents, they would be like, okay, yeah, whatever, and they would just like not think about it. I told them once, and I didn't even have, I didn't even have like a long talk with them why I want to do it and all, but they remembered. And I thought they wouldn't because they're like, why would you do that? You know, like, yeah, whatever, you're gonna eat me, whatever. You're not, it's not gonna, like, last for you. But they remember, so, like, hey, there's meat in here. Like, you're not gonna eat it right now. Make you a separate one. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Like, I didn't want to be picky with, like, my mom's cooking. Like, when I come over and she cooks for me, I don't want to be like, oh, there's meat in here. I don't want it. You know, I don't, I don't want to, that's so rude, you know? So I didn't want to do that. Um, but whenever like we're about to go over like the day before like you know my mom always like think about what she wants to make and, like she goes for grocery shopping so she asked me like hey you know like um is this like do you want to eat this um because i know you're not gonna eat meat and you know your sister's coming over but they want to eat meat uh, even my sister she's really considered with like um things that she, she's really considered with my diet um so like whenever like we want to go eat out as a family you know my sister usually makes the call <laughs> And she would, she really like thinks about me and like she's like, oh, you can't eat meat, right? So let's go here. Um, so even like last time we barbecued, like they didn't make pork, you know, like they can't always adjust to me. But they, uh, my mom and my sister made sure like there was a little bit of fish and all that. So um, kind of shocking to me because I don't know. I mean, they know me so well that like when I start something, it doesn't really last. So usually they don't really like really care about it. But I mean, shoot, I lasted six months. So it means something, right? But I'm not gonna lie though, like there were things like I had some like chicken broth, I had some beef broth, I had dumplings with a little bit of meat in it. I'm not gonna lie, I did. And sometimes I knowingly, knowingly I did eat it. In that sense, yeah, I failed 
because uh, my goal this year was re in not eating those three meats but you know I had this shrimp dumpling but it had pork in it and I knew there was pork in it but I was so hungry so I don't want to say that like oh I was like super clean this year I like completely like cut them cut, cut it out no I failed but but it's about like the next step you take right so so I'm going to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for my videos. Um, let me know if there's anything you guys want me to make. Uh, I saw a couple of uh, comments about uh, like a seafood rice meal. So I'm going to plan that. But obviously I'm going to have a little bit of quinoa in it. So it's a little bit more healthier. A little bit more healthy. So let me know in the comment box and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.